Hello guys, welcome to episode one of the park. This is going to be a new uh, let's play, so I think we're just going to jump straight into it. Uh, I've made the room as dark as possible without um, losing my green screen in the background. Uh, there's still a little bit of light here, but I've got my headphones in. So you can see that turned up. So uh, we're just going to get to it and hopefully try not to shit myself. <laughs> So I'll do my best. Uh, so I know nothing about the game. Uh, it's a blind playthrough. Uh, I heard it's about an hour and a half, but I'm going to be quite diligent with, um, you know, looking around and, and doing I things. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. That was the flattest ass I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so uh, what are we doing? Looking for Mr. Bear. I wasn't actually listening. Uh, so there's that boy in the car, so uh, I guess we want to go over there first, so I'm going to just have a quick look around and see what's going on. So it's looking nice. Uh, we can't run any faster than this. Can't jump, no? Okay. Uh, we'll keep an eye out though, just have a look around. Doesn't seem to be anything of note around here though. So we'll just kind of go that way and see what's going on. Is that a tunnel leading up to the park? So the park's up there somewhere then. Now I hope the audio is okay for this. Um, I've adjusted it a bit. Um, so we'll kind of see. Um, I'll tell you what I will do though guys. If you just give me a second. I'm going to fix the uh, transparency on my face cam real quick. Uh, sorry about that guys. Uh, so we're back uh, here. Uh, and we'll just carry on as we were. So, gonna go through here. Okay. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. So, Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring dream of uh, Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to affect all of those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May 1977, James V. Longley. Okay. So we're looking for our son's teddy bear, I guess then. Uh, the park is closed, so shit's gonna happen. Nice task, bro. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just <laughs> ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. How kind. Can you turn the lights on as well? Is he gone? He's gone. No, he's still there. Okay, so our little boy is running to the park. We're going to find him and his teddy bear. Um, so we'll go through this one. We'll just push our way through. Uh, press circle to shout Callum. Shouting provides audible and visual clues to guide you. Okay. Wait for mommy, Callum. This way, mommy. Okay, so there's something over here. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Come on. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first okay, so this is just uh, Chad the Chipmunk recommends. Okay, so if you guys want to read that, you can pause and you can uh, read that. But I'm gonna just uh, carry on here. Wait up there for Mommy, Callum. Over here. Nothing else around, so we'll head up the escalator. Uh, Nathaniel Winter welcomes to Atlantic Island Park. 
You some creepy son of a bitch. Do we just stand and let it take us up? Oh, apparently Something we have to just stand. About the entrance there he is, we can see him over there. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Well, that's a good sign. So we can run now as well. Excellent. It's easy to get lost here. Bags. Wait, Callum. So no visual clues yet. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he's going that way. Callum, stay where you are. Got to be the stupidest kid in the world. Come on, what kind of kid runs into some horrifying thing like that? Can we see? We can't actually see shit. We don't Mommy have a flashlight or anything. Alright, so we'll try and catch him up. Wait for Mommy! Curriculum is. Do we go in here? Doesn't look like it at the moment, does it? Too dark. I'm not going no. in there without a flashlight. Okay. I don't blame you, mate. That's not helpful, is it? Just come over here, back to me. Good God. Come to mommy, Callum. Ah, he's lost his shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. You think? You think? Come on, you know what shoes your kids are wearing. Seriously. Chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations 11 a.m. Sideshow Alley, 1 p.m. The Octafron, 3 p.m. Park Entrance. Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will, Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die used to slob. Nice uh, bit of creative writing there. This is. Crikey, can we read that? Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, 
he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts uh, at warning me off. I have great vision for this place. There's some horrible noise coming out of the uh, right ear here. Real creepy speaking. Uh, I have great vision for this place and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Uh, Atlantic Island Park, the name is perfect and I can't imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Okay. Callum, stay where you are. Go to the toilet. That's the ladies anyway. Oh, I am a lady. <laughs> well, I'm not, but I am. Come out, sweetie. This way, mommy. Some nice twinkly lights coming on over there. Callum, come back here right now. Chalk. Callum, where are you? What have you got here? Callum, stay where you are. Where is he? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Callum. Over there? Come on, mommy. Into the duck boat. Okay, into the duck boat we go. Swan, not dark at this one. Callum, where'd you go? Almost like being there. Nice, pleasant in the evening. Generally, quite good with jump scares. So, we'll see. Fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Mum of the year. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent... No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Mum of the year. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Any 
anymore. The yes. children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. <laughs> Never, never. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children still licking their sweets, followed. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, <laughs> which told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Lovely. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, pop a cap in her ass. Until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Excellent. Did they eat the witch? And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Nice. So that weren't too bad, was it? Go away. Fuck off. Watch where you're going. Nah. Not too bad. All that for, for that little bit of scare. Didn't quite feel worth it, but I expect it's going to get worse. So we done. Didn't find our child. So how we get? Swans, gingerbread, and chocolate. You have earned a trophy. Nice. They're supposed to be hard to earn, aren't they? Trophies. All I did was sit my ass. Okay. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. 
Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay, Stop. let's call out. I think so far, he's the creepiest part of all of this. Where are you? Another accident. This place. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether they will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie, oh, Archie Henderson. <coughs> it's so small, I can barely read this. It's outstanding to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. Okay. There's a bear with a branch sticking out his face. Nice bit of blood that you can barely see. I don't know if you can see that there, guys. It's quite dark. Um, somebody's bleeding. Callum, stay where you are. <laughs> Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Follow the trail. Okay. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. <laughs> slap that kid up aside his head when I find him. Don't hide from me, Callum. Looks like good fun down there. Let's head on down. Oh, we can jog. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Loving all the off cue music as well. Can we go over here? Where are you? Nothing to be found. No. Okay. I thought I'd check it out. Can we swim? I don't expect we can. No, we can't swim either. I thought I'd check it out just to see if there was anything hiding over there though, but no, there's nothing. Wait, Callum! This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Okay, so I'll let you guys read that. So if you want to pause it and read that, you can do. Um, but that's going to take forever to read, so I won't. Um, I'll have a quick scan through it, though. So lots. Stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick. Blood was spraying and people were screaming, and Frank and I had the kids. We were dragging them away as fast as we could. Good God. There's an eyeball one of those poor kids just landed on the ice cup. Just made a creature of the poor Yes, alive. Yeah, that uh, was a bit screwy. A little bit messed up. Okay. Come back. Well, here we go. We'll take the left path. Broken bridge. Frustrated by the fact that the plans seem incomplete, I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game can be changed with enough money. But no matter how much money that talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting the organisation who sold me the plans and they are stonewalling me. Every contact that I had, every meeting place that I have, I have had watched are swept bare. 
Uh, I have a sinking feeling that I have been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in the plans regardless, the harvesting machines, the transport mechanism, etc. I'll probably let Nicholas name them something cute for the day we open the park. There will be rides after all. Okay. Callum? Where did you go? Can we go in there? Callum? Uh, we'll ride that just yet. We'll have a look. Increase speed, decrease it. <laughs> increase the speed. <laughs> and more. How fast can we get it to go? Is that it? Faster? Faster? I think that's probably as fast as it goes, isn't it? Let's ride it now. <laughs> I can't get on while it's moving. Ah, oh, right, okay. We've got to stop it first. That's a shame. I suppose she's got a good point. We can't get them while it's moving, can we? Is it stopping? Let's do it again. Okay, it looks like he's going to stop now. I can't get on while it's moving. All right. Hello, Star. Starmageddon, hello, how are you doing? I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, come on, come on. Have we stopped yet? Yes. Lovely. A nice stroll. I imagine this would be one of those games that's quite good in VR, but unfortunately, we don't have VR yet. <laughs> but it is making me somewhat dizzy. Tilt the head. Set. God, this woman has got some anxiety problems. Stop, Callum. Polaroid. Oh, oh, we've got a picture. This. Me and Callum. <laughs> Happy families. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Okay, let's try and read this. God, it's so small. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, so most of the staff spend their day standing around gossiping in, gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve, see, even I am starting to call him Chad and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad. The lo Steve, the local lush, as Chad, that makes no sense. Chad the chipmunk. Child friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park, lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears the suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first he it was little things like refusing to change out of the suit at 
<laughs> at work and taking it home with him every day. That's a little bit weird. But then I saw him at Susie's Diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. He's got some weird fetishes. Uh, some of the staff complained discreetly to the park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day, but nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puke him up in a gutter outside the cycle. Oh, cycle station because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture those shapes he makes in the ice though they give me the creeps came Steve came by the booth today lucky me and he was just he just hung around for a while I couldn't really tell because the suit but it seemed like he was just staring at me sizing me up I fucking me whatever he was doing I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there not saying anything eventually I called my supervisor and when he came by Chad Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Henman. Well, hi there. Hope you're having a nice day. You almost got me there. Almost got me there. Not quite. Yeah, you see that at a fairground park? You're not going to shit yourself, are you? What's this game about? Um, it's quite a good question. Um, I think we've been playing for about half an hour so far. Um, your kid has lost his teddy bear, so you go to find it. Your kid gets out the car, fucks off into the park, and you're basically trying to find him. Uh, and that's pretty much all I know. Um, so it's, it's after hours, you're looking for your son and uh, I guess there's something wrong with her mum because she keeps having these kind of weird anxiety flares. Uh, reminds me of Silent Hill. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of very kind of uh, PT-ish uh, but less scarier so far. But nonetheless, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, it's a nice uh, walking simulator. Uh, no, it's, I say that, it's, it's quite enjoyable to just sort of take your time and you know, walk around and not know what's going to happen. Where are we going? Into here? Over there. Wait for mommy. Okay, bumper car. Bumper car driving. Examine device. No, seems fun. Yeah, so far it's not bad. We'll see. Nice. I think that mummy's just fucking crazy. Shocking revelations. All right. Now, sweetie. Where to now? Follow the trail. Wait, Callum. Should we come up here? Uh, so Francis Dufresne, labourer working on the crane. Brief description of the accident. Uh, during the transport of the bumper cars into the area, er, oh, arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Nice and blunt. Uh, did the injured employee... Okay, so I'll read this one. Uh, so Francis Dufresne. Labourer working on the crane. Brief description of the accident. Uh, during the transport of the bumper cars into the area, oh, arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Nice and blunt. Uh, did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes, yes. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of a worker's compensation form? Yes. Supervisor's com uh, comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have been to have seen a, to have seen someone 
on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff had requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent the accident slash incident? Double checking the straps after transit it should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Okay. Um, so, photocopy. See the exit? Yeah. Oh, well, bye then. Callum? Callum? Seems like going over there. Oh, not that baby screaming. We can deal with everything, but babies. Mommy is coming, Callum. Not fun. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, on the notepad, when he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. She's fucking mental. <sighs> Go in here? No. Oh, God, no. Is that petrol? Continually delayed by the new... She's fucking mental. Go in here? No. Oh, I don't know. Is that petrol? Continually delayed by the new, oh, by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals, so they believe a lot of the rumours about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tiles. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, these fools are crossing themselves against black magic. Of course. There's some horrible noise. <laughs> of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potentials. Well, Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies and thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favours back in Brooklyn. I've got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I'm missing. Okay. Alan, where did you go? Inspection result, unsafe, close to park. Inspector's comment, after touring the park, right on the rise and viewing the starting, startling numbers of incidents suffered here in the park, it is the inspector's opinion that the Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While I understand that there is a sensitive politi uh, political relationship between Mr Winter and the Senator, I nevertheless suggest that such political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides, at first glance, appear well constructed and maintained, but the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years and during construction led me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction, <clears throat> and we should close the park and fully investigate these floors. To wit, here is a partial list of the fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. Family of three killed when a roller coaster cart derailed. 14 separate incidents of broken bones and crushed ribs while riding the Octoron. Three suicides from the top of the ferris wheel, <laughs> excellent. 
A child seriously injured on the escalator. Over a dozen children reported missing in the House of Horrors since its construction. One report of drowning in the tunnel of towels. The sheer volume of incidents means that it is my strongest recommendation that the Atlantic Island Park be closed immediately. Okay. It's a dangerous place to be. Don't know why you would take your kid here. But we've already picked up that she's the, uh, got the shitty mother of the year award, so uh, let's get on the ferry as well. They can have another attempt at trying to frighten me. come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. <laughs> According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. All right, I was expecting something more than that. Rides. Tree in the way, of course. Ugh. Roller coaster ticket. Let's do it. Righto. Did that open it up? That did open it up for us. Are we supposed to be going that way, though? I do want to quickly look over there. Please, Callum, tell me where you are! She's watching you, okay. I don't think there is anything else over here, is there? No, there. There's another pathway. I wonder if they just both, both. Oh no, that's the way we came. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, sorry guys. I'll just run back this way real quick. Let's have a look at this. So we're on the Ferris wheel. So we have gone Tunnel of Towers, Octatron, 
Ferris wheel, bumper cars. Uh, so we've got the roller coaster, sideshow, alley, house of horrors, and that's the entrance. Um, so if I was guessing, I think it looks like we're about halfway through. So it's not very long at all. But then, I don't know, something else could happen. Where are you, Calm? He's coming. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. <gasps> Fuck those people! <laughs> you give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Really? They just fucked up. I got two kids. Don't get me wrong, they're pains in the asses. But you know what, I wouldn't change it. I love them to bits. Definitely wouldn't speak like that about my children. Alan, where did you go? She sounds so sincere when she's looking for him Callum? as well. She isn't ass, she is a fucking knobhead. Is what she is. Let's go on the roller coaster, shall we? I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. So your kid's missing. Are you gonna go ride a roller coaster? Okay. Mommy is coming, Calm. Oh shit! How do we get over there? How do we get there? It's too dark. I can't see shit. Oh, here we go. Ride roller coaster. Okay. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. He's just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. We just <laughs> has That's my own hand. Oh no, it's not. Oh fuck. Here, I'm afraid. Just, just You're getting spooned. Fool. You always were. Oh, hang on. Arms up. I think we just ran our son over and murdered him. Are we done? Okay. Where to next? This isn't a game, Callum!
Is this a horror game? Um, I want to say yes, but so far it's not doing the job. I don't think it's not Come quite back. getting the scares in. Actually, if anything, it's uh, quite humorous so far. The witch awaits. All right. I so, can help you, Callum. We want to go this way. Yeah, I picked it up off the uh, PlayStation Alan Store. Has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night. He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. If you say so. Um, so I've been looking for a good horror game. Yeah, I've been looking for one. But um, if you want a good horror game, play Emily Wants to Play. Okay, I'll definitely check that one out for sure. Um, if I can, I'll stream that one as well. Um, I'll take a note down on that one. Um, yeah, this one. I don't know. It's not quite cutting it yet. Uh, yeah, I picked it off the PlayStation Store uh, just on a whim, actually, because it looked intriguing. I hadn't really heard much about it, um, and I mean that was a couple of hours ago, and here we are now. So, <laughs> uh, or until dawn, jump scare mania. I've played until dawn um, alongside with the camera as well. Um, yeah, that was quite a good game, actually. I got quite frustrated because I couldn't quite get everybody to survive, but. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind going through that one again just to get, um, you know, a different outcome, a different story. That'd be quite good. Just like that, if it has a lot of is that the theories, jump skin. He wants to play. Just that it has a lot of theories. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll check those. Uh, well, I've played uh, until dawn, but I'll check Emily wants to play because I've not actually heard of that one either. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in Park Goer's mouth. What a pun. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by this discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. Nice. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from... Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of the Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is, tr it is a true tra tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on the story going forward. Do you know how what FNAF is? Markiplier. Oh, um, is that Five Nights at Freddy's? Um, yeah, I've you know um, my brother-in-law um, has told me a lot about that, but I've not actually picked up myself. Um, it's just something I've kind of missed out on. I just haven't quite caught with it. But I have heard that there's a new one coming out or something of the sorts. Yeah. Um, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's 5, I think. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll pick up on those one day. Uh, pickled punks. What are they? Sideshow oddities. Things are about to get just a little bit weird. Okay. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Callum, where are you? Got something over here. Cotton candy. Oh, okay. This is the uh, where the dead body was supposedly found. 
the league. This isn't a game, Callum. Oh, okay, so is there something behind here then? Let's go around. I'm gonna find a child's body. Whackajack. I am welling on the Sir Rice. Oh, I'm waiting. Oh, waiting on the series. Oh, okay. Sorry, I've got my uh, laptop quite far away. I can't read the comments very well. Waiting on the series. Okay, yeah, well, I'll check it out. If you want to follow, um, you get notified every time I come um, online. And you'll be able to find my YouTube as well. There's the dead child. Examine corpse. Of, oh, Five Nights of Freddy's. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely pick that up at some point. Poor bastard. We did this to him. Is he going to jump up? He's alive. I can't move. Oh, okay. There we go. What's your YouTube game, uh, channel? Um, I go as um, the Rogue Gamer. Uh, oh, f Fuck me. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Is that Chad or Steve? Uh, yeah, the Rogue Gamer, you'll be able to find. Uh, there's like a, a cartoonized picture of me with a circular red background. Uh, you will be able to find me there. Um, I think I show up somewhere in the list anyway. I do a lot of uh, Enter the Gungeon videos uh, and I've just started Firewatch as well. Um, I'll tell you what, if you guys just give me just a minute. I'll pick up the link and I'll paste it into the um, Twitch chat. Um, I do try and keep it consistent. Callum! Callum! Pill, take pills. Okay. The, these are mine. <laughs> My pills. Nice, we're drugged up. Behind you, behind you, I don't want to. Your mother? Say no to, say no to graffiti. The irony. Not safe, the league. Uh, okay, fuck graffiti. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogie man, stop picking your nose then. <laughs> That's good. Through there. Can't see anything through there. Okay. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Oop, knock that over. Righto, so we've got all sorts of shit flying around here. Forgive me, Cal. The boogie man is a great game. Is that a microwave? Callum, I'm sorry. Is that him? Have we found him? Oh no, that's that creepy ass motherfucker. Should we say hello to him? Turn around, did he say? Turn around. Another horror game. Yeah, I'll check that one out as well. The Biggie Man. So what we got? Uh, Until Dawn, The Boogeyman, Five Nights at Freddy's, and uh, something of Emily. I'll, I'll copy and paste uh, my Twitch log um, so I can uh, get all the names of the games, and then I'll look into them. What have we got coming on here? Is that a teddy bear? Yes. Nice. Kind of like we're in the Matrix. Am I climbing up that? What's going on? I'm in the air. Am I in the air? No, I'm not. Scary than FNAF. Okay, sweet. Don't leave me here, Callum. Don't touch me. Hello, chaps. Uh, we've already read that, haven't we? Callum, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Pickled punks again. Okay, so we just had to go around because that dickhead bloke 
made us. She's out for the camp. It's not scary, but creepy. I, I prefer creepy than scary, uh, actually. Um, I mean, the jump scares tend not to get me so much, so creepy, you know, more the build-up, I do prefer than anything else. Right, we're good to go. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted <laughs> blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. Would you stay after dark at a park? You know what? I would. I would seriously do it. I'd probably have a heart attack and shit my pants. But I would do it, just for the experience. Whether I would turn around after five minutes and run out screaming like a little sissy girl, I don't know. But I'd definitely give it a go. <laughs> right, we've got a flashlight, but how do we turn it on? Turn it on. Do we have a button for the flashlight? Did it tell us we have a button for the flashlight? Should we just try and walk in there? Oh, shit. Okay. Nice loading screen. Nice face. I think I'll take a screenshot for that for my thumbnail. <laughs> I used to live in a place... Um, and the park just down the road, <laughs> the park down the road, uh, had a uh, graveyard next to it. And a few of uh, my friends and I, we used to go kind of walking around in there just for kind of shits. Uh, and there was a little kind of uh, burnt, burnt down house of sorts there, which we went into. Um, but one of the friends actually fell through and cut his arm up pretty bad. So we never did that again. But that was, um, I mean, we were like 12, 12, 13 years old and we thought we were the cool kids. So... Uh, screenshot it. Yeah, I did. I did. I, that's that's what I was doing. I don't know if you actually saw the little icon come up on your end, but I did take a screenshot of that one. Don't leave me. I can't believe this kid. He's got balls of steel. He's just walked in here by himself, like the hard man, and the mother's just being a little whiny bitch about it. Oh, you did. Oh, nice, nice. read this fellow chat. Uh, done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston. I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. Okay. So is that the guy? Is that the owner? Don't leave me. Oh, it's just my reflection. I was half expecting something to change then, but that didn't happen. Oh, hello. Terminator. Where are we going? I don't know. Let's just go around here. I 
that's a pretty sweet uh, drawing. Nice. No. Don't make me look at it. Don't make me look at it. <laughs> look, look at it. Oh, it was something there for a second. Just trying to make sure I look everywhere as everywhere I possibly can. Same. Yeah. Stop! Don't believe them. Stop! Why did you steal me? Scary. Where is Daddy? Alone. Look out. Yeah. Show yourself. You're supposed to be getting Where down there. Where is my boy? This is the door. now. Don't leave me. Who was that? Oh, okay, I see. So we're on the inside of those boards now? No, we're not. I'm lost. What have you done with him? Completely lost. Oh. <laughs> oh, that one got me. Got me like a champ. Alright, one point to the game. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> Give it to me. I saw the board laying down as well. Something's gonna happen here, isn't what it? Have you done with them? Let's have a look over here quick. <gasps> Boo. Find me? No. Okay, so this is half a letter. So, incidents, and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with the with its intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, really? <laughs> but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. Yeah, I should think so. I'd rather not have the boys in blue either kind investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. Okay, where to oh, now? Where is he? Around here? Where 
was he? <laughs> cool picture. She's all legs. And apparently she doesn't know how to walk properly. She just kind of slides around like she's on ice. Oh. Didn't expect that one either. So it's pulled that stunt twice on me now. We'll be ready for it next time. What have you done with him? Scary as the other one. No, no, it wasn't. I mean, it's nice looking. I like the lighting effects. It makes it. It just kind of makes it look a bit better. Is there anything up here? No. Give it to me. Through the door. Open door. Aha! Into the basement. Now this bit here particularly reminds me of PT or Silent Hills. Definitely. Can we open all these doors? Yes, we can. So what's behind door number one? Oh, it's locked. All right. <laughs> Nothing, apparently, because we can't get in there. Door number two. Fuck all. Door number three. Lovely. Creepy door closing behind you. A horror game. Dread Halls, <laughs> yeah. Nightmare Circus. What's on the back? A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an estranged mob of townsfolk, just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Okay. Cigarettes and coffee. Who was that? Telephone. After they let no. me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Hmm. Dawn. Watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. So on April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sub. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world has ever seen. Now, our panel, panel of Donna experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to, to survive the terrible winter. In this never before seen expose, read about how the Donna children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this shocking true story. Okay, so that's very much like Hansel and Gretel, which we've already heard the story of earlier. And that one was kind of like um, the reverse story, of, you know, from the kids' point of view, that one. Yeah, it'd be a book I'd uh, be keen to read. Or both of them, actually. Oh, and that letter, the note that I just read was just about the uh, power company. Um, cutting their power. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, cap. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Clementine's hat from the Walking Dead uh, Telltale series. What else have we got? We've got a drawing. I love you from Callum. Oh, he's drawn us a little picture. How cute. That happened in real life. Uh, I don't know, actually, it might have done. It might have been a true story. Uh, the 
wilting. That looks like a good one. Let's have a quick read. Uh, with this novel, Susan Ascombe cements her place as one of the most stop moving around woman as the most <laughs> important science fiction writers of our generation. The Wilting. A solar flare has struck the earth. Millions of people are up uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. An exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world. Again, okay. Okay, <laughs> dynamic, exciting, bombastic. Everything we've come to expect from an Ascom novel. Chance O'Hara is back, and you better believe that she's bigger, better, bolder than ever. Okay. Alone. Cigarettes and a baby. How about stop global warming? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, was that a dance? Did it say dancer was uh, was going to stop global warming? Uh, an exotic dancer is going to save the world by curing global warming. Don't make me look at it. I'd be interested to see how that goes. Actually, <laughs> shopping list: milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, fix faucet. All right. Examine wrench. Can we take it as a weapon? No, no. You're in a haunted house. Shit's going off. You want to take that wrench with you, really, don't you? I mean, come on. All right. Crumpled pieces of paper. The door there. I expect that's going to be locked. Yeah. Let's have a look in the fridge. So, got some nasty pieces of chicken, wine, water. Apples, avocados or pears, and a tin. Let's close it. Something's gonna happen here, isn't it? It's gotta do. Show yourself. Wait for it. Miss Malliard, as we agreed in our meeting today, we will consider your you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is an official notifica notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continue good health. Okay. Check out the TV. Good reception. Uh, Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised you ran off with your father. Ran off with your father all of those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map. Uh, when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now, and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine. I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. So that was a letter from her mum. Uh, Freddy is coming to get you when you asleep. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Oh, do you remember those toys? I used to have one of those. You kind of stand on them. It's kind of like a pogo stick, but without the stick. A pogo. Where's my torch gone? My torch. I don't have my torch. Oh, look at that. The exit sign. Which clearly means we're not going to go outside. We're going to go deeper into the more fucked up world. Read Neris. Oh, Christ, I can't read that. That's a little too small. Uh, Miss Malliard, our inquiry into the estate of Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement or accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State. The deceased parents 
Our agony, our, our agency made contact with Mr. and Ms. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they are not receptive to our overtures and they specified that without any legal proof or biological or of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may be a negative impact on your current financial situation and I hope that I'm not going to be I'm not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Oh no, so she's just done gone fucked over. Right, let's uh, exit. Of course, we just go down deeper and we've done a loop around. So are we can have a different unlocked door this time? No? Quack, quack, quack. Okay, so we're back here. So we've done something wrong. The book has moved. Ah, uh, but we have the pills now. Is it the same on the back? I can't bloody rotate this book very well. The park. It's different. The park. It was a wait, wait, waiting on a child for take, take, taking. Using joy for bait, bait, baiting while their mother's mind is breaking. Analgesia win. Okay. So I assume we've got to pick those pills up. I'm just going to have a quick look around to see if there's any other changes. Um, no, this is different as well. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind, but when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. I keep looking out my window to make sure nothing's there. <laughs> Just make sure you don't have a tree branch scratching at your window, then you're good. It's a creeped teddy bear. Let's take the pills. Oh, there's more pills. Is that the same or is that? If that's the same, yeah, that's the same. <coughs> we'll just go take those pills and have ourselves a good time. Okay, maybe not. All right. Fine. We'll carry on. Oh, that's a book here. Oh, that's the same book as well. Leave me. I bet she's stopped taking the bills. Hmm. That's the same. Pills on the floor. Oh, pills, pills. How about she stopped taking the pills? That would make sense, wouldn't it? I think she'd probably uh, sort her life out if she stopped drugging up. I thought I found him, and he's just run off again. Stupid child. And the wrench is gone. The only weapon that we found during this game, and she just won't pick it up. Shopping list is the same. Let's have a look over there. Can we go in there? He's locked it, isn't he? Yeah, of course he's locked it. Little shit. Alright, so the meat has rotted. And she's still got the wine. Open this one yet? Nope. Run as fast as you can. He's the gingerbread man. Oh, those nursery rhymes. So 
sure what are we are looking for. Make me see. Oh, it's my shadow. <laughs> Made me jump. <laughs> uh, I receive it. I didn't run away. Dad took me. Okay, that's pretty shitty, isn't it? Right, what's going on here? We're looping around. Are we missing something, or is this just supposed to be happening? That's a plant. Uh, same there. <coughs> Downstairs. Downstairs. Right now. No, it's still locked. Still locked. This is going to be changed again, isn't it? A chipmunk goes stab, stab, stabbing in the eyes, a jab, jab, jabbing, and all the townies gab, gab, gabbing. Just lie down and let it happen. Basal ganglia win. Okay, uh, more pills. Lovely little picture there. Oh, what was that? What am I missing there? Hat is gone. Hat is on the floor, covered in blood. Nice. So Rubik's cube. See her try. See her why. See her cry. Bye bye. Her lie. See her try. Is that why? Okay, right. fridge again. The meat is gone. There's a lovely picture of a burning car. More wine. Oh, and blood. Who's in the sink? We're looping around again. There's blood on the floor this time with the chair. Is this going to open yet? No. Looks like we're going through again. More blood. A history of Solomon Island. It might be too dark to read this one. Oh no, there's nothing on there. Okay. King's Mouth Publishing. Okay. Didn't run away to so now she's torn it in half. There's the uh, boogeyman type guy down again. Come on! 
No, they're hanging babies. Ugh. Oof. Yeah, go on, just turn around and look at me, go on. Check the book. A bigger man goes walk, 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 uh, walk, walk, walk in, sneak in, steal in, a stalk, stalk, stalk in. Is he really a talk, talk, talk in? Now is not the time for balk in, cerebral cortex win. Okay. one of these stands up and just runs off I'm gonna shit a brick Ugh, one in the bed go on do something do something it's just dirty now as well as bloody uh, the TV's gone are we in the wrong room the TV's in the next room no it's not what's that no, not that. That. She looks alright. What's on the back? My two best friends, Don and Laura. What am I standing on? A baby. Shopping list has moved. Zalift prescription. Remember, you're alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer. Oh, who he once was. Baby's head. Nice. So, are we becoming the witch, essentially, in the. Fuck you in the Hansel and Gretel story it kind of oh. I love you, I can't accept the picture yes, so there's a baby in the oven it's always what we want to see when we're looping around an uh, infinite room ice pick with blood did she kill her son? Is this just a mental breakdown of hers? She's killed her son and had a mental breakdown. Man, that is the most fucked up view I've seen in a long time. Alright, we get to go through this door finally. Am I being pushed? No. Wait for it. Wait for it. Shit. Oh, hang on. We'll be just in here. What? That wasn't open before, was it?
AV in a box. Thank you, William. The new watch. It is very nice. It had made me a happy carrot. Thank you, William. The new watch was very nice. It had made me a happy carrot. Lovely. Okay. When will this mess end? Try the doors every time. Go through again. Well, at least the babies are gone. What have we got going on now? Lorraine, Lorraine, I need you to focus on what we are discussing. The chipmunk killed Steve Gardner. He was locked away for what he did to those kids. Nathaniel Winter hasn't been seen in years, but he's nowhere near Atlantic Island Park. We've established this, you know this. He's behind me, isn't he? I'm gonna put this book down, he's gonna be fucking behind me. No, we're good. Something's gonna happen though. Oh shit. The walls are bleeding. Don't fucking move. You stay there. We found a different room. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch. But I am. Aren't I? I knew it. I fucking knew it. The kids broke in today. Yeah, it's been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. 
The change walked me in by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Alright. The good old creepy as fuck 50s music playing. Eyes without sparkle. Turn it off. Why have you done with them? Stop. Oh, I can't actually read that. Uh, Hansel and Gretel. Secret bookcase. Where is my boy? Cal. Cal. Face gonna be missing. Oh, hello. Turn around. Turn around. Should have picked up that wrench when you saw it, baby. Don't kill the kid, come on man. Don't kill the kid. Oh. Really? Is that it? No, it's not it. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself for me. What a terrible mouse. Fucked up, man. Oh, it's him. Right from the beginning. Think about the last place you saw your son. You stabbed him in the fucking chest, bitch. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Okay, I think we're finished. So that wasn't overly that long. Um, I mean, we were streaming for... I don't know, two hours, maybe? Um, 1.46, 2, 3... Just over two hours. I just want to see if there's any changes when we load back up. Continue game, there's nothing to continue. Um, I'm just going to come through here and turn that down for a minute. So, uh, that was the park. So, thank you for watching, guys. 
Uh, a very short game actually, it's only a couple of hours long, uh, but definitely enjoyable. Um, a bit pricey for what it was, it was about 10 quid, which I don't know, what's that, $18, $15 in American money. Um, but yeah, I mean it was okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. You can check my Twitch in the description down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.